Let's get right to it and bring in our Browns beat reporter, Mary Kay Cabot, joining us from Berea. Mary Kay, how are you? I'm fine. How are you guys doing? Doing well, Mary Kay. And we, we got to hear from Johnny Manziel yesterday, the first time in a while. He is the starting quarterback. Uh, the question is with Johnny, as always, whenever we hear him talk, is there any reason uh, to believe him this time around? You know what? That's a, that's a great question. And, and I don't know the answer to that. And I don't think that Mike Pettin knows the answer to that either. Uh, I, I really don't know if he realizes, uh, you know, what's coming yet. So, no, no one really knows. And, uh, you know, it's just wait and see at this point. Mary Kay, has, has Pettin uh, committed to him for the, for the final four mm -hmm. games? Or is that just something that we're assuming? You know what, I, I, it, it's kind of, yeah, you know, he's going to be um, the starter going forward, but, you know, he's got to prove it as he goes along. Johnny seems to think it's for the last four games. So, uh, yeah, I do think that, that this is something where they're like, okay, this is yours, but, but you, you have to uh, continue to earn it along the way. Now, Johnny's going to be facing uh, not a bad defense, a pretty good defense. It's a little banged up. And, of course, we all know the defensive coordinator in San Francisco, Eric Mangini. Uh, he's probably going to come up with some things for Johnny uh, as well on Sunday. What should we expect out of him? Um, you know what? I, I, I think that uh, I think you'll see him run around. I think you'll see him improvise and make some plays. I think Eric Mangini will try like heck to keep him in the pocket. I think if uh, Gary Barnes is okay with that ankle, I think that Johnny will probably be able to hit a couple of big plays to him because everybody seems to be able uh, to, to hit Gary Barnes. I mean, he's just having a great season, and, and uh, he's getting open. Uh, astonishingly, he continues to get open. Uh, you know, there's a lot of injuries on this um, receiving core right now, obviously. Travis Benjamin with the shoulder. You know, Terrell Pryor will get, up, will get out there. Will he have an opportunity to contribute? You know, that remains to be seen. Uh, I think he will have a chance to get out there. So, um, you know, I, I think you'll see more of the same of, of what, we see, what we've seen from Johnny so far. Yeah, Mary Kay, uh, that leads me to the next question. What, what should we, who should we expect to see uh, at wide receiver this week? It, will Benjamin be able to play? Would you suspect that Pryor or Bo will play? You know what? That's a good question. I, you know, I do think Pryor will be up. Uh, I think Bo might have to be up as well. Um, I, I don't. I don't think they'll leave themselves shorthanded like they did last week. I think that. Um, I think Travis Benjamin in the end will probably be able to play. Um, and um, I think that Andrew Hawkins and Taylor Gabriel will still still be out. Uh, Brian Hartline, he got a little bit of a hit, but he was full go yesterday. So. You know, it'll be a, a, a weird mix of, of guys that, that, you know, really haven't seen the field a lot this season. So it's going to be a little challenging. Uh, Mary Kay, last question, because we know we need, you need to uh, go talk to Mike Pettin here. Uh, a bad week for Ray Farmer. His, uh, another first-round pick is headed to the bench. Cam Irving, Austin Pastor is going to start uh, over him. What does it say about Cam Irving that, that he can't play in place of Joel Batonio right now? Well, you know what? I, it, it's not a good sign. I mean, most of the time, I mean, look, when you, even when you look back to Joel Batonio last year, you know, he, he started right from the beginning. He was a second-round pick, and they threw him in there, and he had almost a Pro Bowl season as a rookie. Uh, you know, Joe Thomas, Alex Mack. I mean, guys like this that you've picked that high, generally you want to see them show flashes of greatness right away in their rookie year. I think it's a bad sign. Uh, for Cam Irving, but what he needs to do now and in the offseason is get 100 times stronger, and then we'll go from there and see what he can do. All right, Mary Kay Cabot, our Browns beat reporter, joining us live from Berea. Thanks for the time, Mary Kay.